Hi guys, I'm Tiana Michelle and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be reviving my two and a half week old silk press. It doesn't have a lot of body anymore. It's really limp, it's oily, and she just needs some work. So we're gonna do that. As humid as it is here, I'm surprised that it's lasted as long as it has without reverting back. It still has some life left to it. I just need to get a lot of this greasiness out. I'll be starting out with some dry shampoo from Moroccan Oil. This one is specifically for people with dark hair. This is actually my first time ever using dry shampoo, but I've been seeing a lot of other people use it and it seems to work on their natural hair when it's in a silk press. Plus, I love Moroccan Oil products, so I have no worries. So I'm giving it a nice shake before I use the product and I am struggling with it a little bit like I do with everything that I use for the first time. And I have no idea why I'm making all of these crazy facial expressions, but I'm spraying this about six inches away from my scalp. As you can see, it leaves a residue, but it's not going to stay that way. As I'm spraying the dry shampoo, through my hair, I can already tell that it's soaking up a lot of the oiliness at my roots and it smells really good too. After I finished spraying the dry shampoo, I let it dry for a little bit before massaging my scalp as I would do with regular shampoo. After I finish massaging the dry shampoo throughout my scalp, I'm gonna take my paddle brush and brush the residue through. That way it's not just sitting on the top of my head. And it's also running the product through my hair shaft to get any of the extra oiliness out without drying my hair out. So this is how my hair looks after. Of course, it doesn't look like my hair looked when I first straightened my hair, but it is very fluffy and voluminous, and it's going to make doing what I'm about to do next to my hair, it's about to make a bomb. Just trust the process. So I haven't used any heat on my hair since I first straightened it a few weeks back, but there is a section in the front of my hair that I want to just fix a little bit because it the humidity has gotten to it. So I just curled that piece of hair back in the direction that I have been doing my Bantu knots at night. I also like for my hair to smell really nice, so I'm going to use some of this hair perfume by Gazoo and just spritz it all throughout my hair. Using dry shampoo and hair perfume were sort of preparation for the most important part of reviving my silk press. This is my favorite part of this process and it's these Bantu knots that I like to do. I do four of them and I just split my hair into four sections. I don't make these tight at all so I twist my hair as I would a regular Bantu knot. After I do my bantu knot, I secure it with a silk scrunchie by wrapping it around the bantu knot twice and then I twist it in the opposite direction until it's comfortable because we don't do tension and discomfort. And I just repeat the same process all around my head. And remember if you decide to try this method, place the bantu knots in locations that are comfortable for the way that you sleep. I 
I sleep in these Bantu knots and take them down the next day but before I take them down I'm just gonna take a little bit of gel and lay my edges I have not done this at all since I straightened my hair but since I'm almost three weeks in I won't be wearing the style for much longer I decided to do this now edge tamer alone does not work for me but if you do want to prevent your hair from reverting too much you can mix a little bit of gel and edge tamer together or at least that's what I have done now I'm not even gonna lie the first bantu knot that I take down is kind of underwhelming but just stay with me here keep trust in the process because it's all gonna come together As I'm taking each Bantu knot down, I'm running my fingers through my hair to separate the waves because we're gonna marry them soon. Now I do take my time with this process because I've noticed the more that I run my fingers through and play around with it, the better the waves clump together. They really do marry each other and become very uniform. It gives this vintage wave look and it's a style that I kind of did on accident this time around with doing my silk press and I'm happy that I did because I love it. I personally love it so much more than having my hair blown straight. Do you see how well the waves just married and clumped together? It, it just turned out so nicely. Now that my hair has been refreshed, it has a lot of body and movement. It's no longer weighed down. In natural lighting, you can see how shiny it actually is. This video didn't really do justice, which is why I showed some extra clips of my hair in natural lighting. But I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below if you did. And remember that your support helps me out so much more than you know, especially as a smaller and newer channel. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I will leave it up here for you. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you.